Today, we'll look at the top three ways that you can identify quality remote monitoring systems for your telecom towers. Whether you work for a wireless provider, you have microwave towers in a private network, or you maintain a public radio system, you need to be monitoring your telecom towers. But how do you know which remote monitoring system is the best one for you? Let's start by looking at the first thing that you should be thinking about when you're choosing a system. Monitor the right things. The first two things that your monitoring system needs to cover are related to the tower itself. First, unless your tower is very short, you probably need to monitor the status of your tower obstruction lights. You don't want to leave yourself open to government fines and even liability for contributing to an airplane or a helicopter crash. Second, you probably don't just have a tower for no good reason. You must be doing some kind of transmission or reception. To make sure that everything's running smoothly, your monitoring system should be monitoring your radio status, forward and reflected power, and any similar values. Now finally, don't forget that your tower site is still a remote telecom site just like any other. You need to at least be monitoring the basics like equipment status, door opens, motion, temperature, smoke, humidity, just cover all those basic environmentals. Now let's move on to the second thing you need to think about when you're choosing a remote monitoring system for your towers. Decide whether you need a master station. Master stations are a great way to bring data from all of your tower sites and all of your other sites onto one screen. You can have a list view or maybe a geographic map display. They're excellent for medium and large networks, but they can actually represent a largely unnecessary expense and complexity if you just have a few sites to monitor. The general rule that I follow for my clients is 10 sites. Is your tower count in the double digits? If so, you probably want a master station. But if you have nine sites or fewer, you'll probably get the best results by simply using your remote monitoring RTUs at each site independently. You'll log into the interface, set up some email or SMS alerts, and you'll be ready to go. This works great for a few sites, but I think you can see that it quickly gets out of hand once you have dozens of towers that you gotta keep track of separately. If that's you, you need a central master station. So finally, let's take a look at your third important consideration. Choose a system with flexibility and support. Remote site monitoring is deceptively complex. When you're just getting started, it seems like you don't need much more than the RTUs and the master stations themselves. There's some truth to that, but only for a very, very short time. You're gonna be using your monitoring system for 10 to 15 years, ideally. The world is going to change underneath you. You'll have new systems, new standards, new laws, new protocols, and all that is gonna throw a lot of new challenges at you. You need a system that's flexible enough to evolve, tech support that's there to help you in the middle of the night on a mountaintop, and ultimately a manufacturer that's in it for the long haul. If you'd like to talk about your tower site monitoring options, give me a call. Just click the link below for my contact information. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Until next time, I wish you excellent network reliability.